Hello and welcome, I'm Bio. And today we're doing a new set. This set is hoped to have about five games. And it, originally it was going to be some Mahjong games, but it then got twisted into me basically looking at Akigi video games. So I was like, you know what? There's enough Akigi video games for five games. There's only four Akagi video games, but there's a, also another one which is related to the series as well. So I thought, why not? We'll do we'll do that instead. So, because I, I thought it might be a little bit more interesting. CNS, I have read the entirety of Akagi. I've read all thirty, I think it's thirty-six volumes of Akagi from the beginning. I've also seen the Akagi anime, and uh, yeah, I really like Akagi. I do like Mahjong. It's, it's Akagi that got me into Mahjong. So. I thought, hey, why not? Let's have a look at some of their games. We've have had a look at some of the Akagi games before, I think. Again, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. But back then, my Mahjong skills would have been <laughs> absolutely terrible. So now they're reasonable. They're at least reasonable. So I do believe if I bring it up, hopefully... Okay, so yeah. So this is uh, the video of me spinning the wheel because I always like to have proof of like that the fact that I've spun the wheel so here you go like so you see see that it I it's you can see from this here that obviously it's something that I recorded I'm just playing back the recording so yeah um that's what came up some mahjong games which is quite surprising I didn't really have like I said I didn't really have the set properly sorted yet so in the end i was like oh you know what let's do akagi why not so this game is uh developed by micronet uh published by micronet released in january 1996 this is akagi tohaiden for the playstation one it also got released on the 3do and it's actually related to the live action movie of the same name yeah believe it or not before they did the uh, live action akagi show that you may or may not be familiar with um, they also, they did a live action film which had a completely different tone. It had more of a well, I'm not surprised. It had more of a a tone that what you would expect from uh, something released in the 90s. So, because that game's gone on for a long, long time. It's a long, very long running manga. The Waiju fight is one of the longest fights in probably the history of manga, if not the longest fight. So. Okay, I think we're. I think we've gone into free play mode. I'm not too sure. I'm hoping we have. Just gonna go and have a free play battle. Yeah, I think I don't know who I'm playing as. But one thing that always made me laugh about this game is is the 3D models. They look horrendous. Look at that. Look at those. Look at those fingers. Look at those fingers. They are. There's some fingers right there. So. There are definitely some fingers right there. Interesting. Alright. It's not looking good for you, boys. I'm not going for a very particularly high hand. What I'm going for is quite a cheap hand, actually. So I've got so what I've done so far we've got three four, and we've got six and a seven. So this is okay. So this is three four in kanji, and this is a six and this is a seven. So basically what we need is someone to lay another tile that fits within the kanji. But it's got to be either a five or an eight, I believe. Bingo! There we go. There's the five. You're gonna achieve that as well. And we're going to be basically waiting on a single tile. Probably wait on the six. Ah, damn it. He played a seven. But he probably only played a seven. So we're on a, waiting on a single tile. We're waiting on a six. Which is highly plausible. That someone could play a six. We're currently in tempo. I'm going to stick with a six. Oh, he's putting a Ricci in. Oh, okay. That's our tile safe to put down. 
Boom. Okay. Put the three down, because... Three safe, because I did play a three earlier. Oh, a nine. Hmm. Yeah, okay, the nine passed. That's good. Play the eight. It's fine. Bingo. Run. There it is, done. Actually, who ronned? I ronned. Did did I not run in that? And yeah, I don't think I'm the one that won. Boom. Okay, so I did run. So multiple people can run in the same turn. That's different. That's not how you normally play. It's like he ronned, I ronned. I, I think that's a very rare thing to happen in the game, actually. Very certain circ circumstances must have to come into play for that to work. So let's see what we got. I got rid of those tiles because there was nothing that I could really do with them. So we have a 2, a 5, and an 8. We have a 2, 4, 6, 8, and 9. 2, 3, 4, so we already have one there. We have a 5, 7, and another 2. We could keep the two, and we have three, four, five, in all fairness. That's a good shout. So basically what we're trying to do, in case you're not familiar with Mahjong, is we're trying to get... The easiest way to look at Mahjong is you've got to build up a good hand. And there's a lot of factors that come into play of building up a good hand. So, what if I press triangle? Okay. So what's... That tells us what we are at the minute. I can't quite see the tile over there. I'm assuming the Dora tile is an 8. That means the that means the the lucky tile in this case would be the 9 of Kanji. So there's a possibility I could put that in. So you want to kind of incorporate the Dora tile the best you can. It doesn't always work out that way though. You can build up hands of various things. Right now I have one set. I have 2, 3, 4 or 3, 4, 5 however you want to look at it. So, and that's all I have at the moment. But I have the potential for more. Because if I get a 7 of bamboo, I'll have another one. If I get a 5 of bamboo, I'll have another one. If I get a 3 of bamboo, I'll have another one. But here, you've got a 5 and an 8. Not great. 5 and 8, not great. <laughs> but you get a you could get a 7 and a 6, and then... Or a 9 and a 7, and then you got something. Or, or 4 and a 6. So, the from what I've got so far... One to get rid of would be, in my opinion, the two. So the two goes in. Now, the whole chi and pawn, see, that, that, that that's a useless tile I just drew, so we, that does not incorporate very well into my hand at all. So he's just put down a three, and I could chi that, but I don't see the point. Because at the end of the day, I don't see the point of pawning or chi in, which is basically stealing other people's tiles, um, unless I've already, the first pawn I do always start with a pawn is one of the uh one of the elemental tiles well i don't know the elemental tiles the compass tiles i don't know how what the proper term for them but it's north south east or west if i have two of the norths and someone plays a north i'll pawn that and then i can obviously continue pawning and start cheating as well or else if you start pawning and cheating before that the hand you're going to get is no more if even if you do run it's going to be no more than a thousand it ain't going to be any higher than that unless you somehow incorporate the dora tile into it but either way it's going to be a very weak hand so you want to try and get the best more most points you can and it's better to have a closed hand which is basically don't call any of the opponent's tiles than to have an open hand which uh again nets you less points i'm not the best person to describe uh, to explain mahjong i'm going to be honest I learned basically how to play Mahjong through um, trial and error, really. And I also then got a book called Richie Mahjong, The Ultimate Guide to the Japanese Game Taking the World by Storm by a author called Scott D. Miller. Uh, it's a book you can get on Amazon. It's very cheap. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's a very cheap book. I would say just type in Richie Mahjong book on, on Amazon. It probably would come up. And that helped me the most. That, that, that taught me, basically, it, fill, it filled in the blanks, you could say. There is so many hands in Mahjong that it's unreal. And there's no way I'd be able to learn them all unless I was being directly tutored by someone. So, 
I can I know enough about Mahjong where I can actually win the, on quite a frequent occasion. But then again, it all depends on the skill of the AI. I could never play against an online match against real people because I'll probably lose. So. So yeah, so I'm not going to call that. We have the Haku, we're going to put that in. This is his blank tile. He's going to pawn that, which is I kind of expected that somebody would. Oh, I've right, got another one. Go for it. Can it? Oh, he's not going to can it. Good of. Ah, God, why do you keep me these tiles? This happens sometimes, unfortunately. There's not much. He, he canned. Okay, so what does that give us now? Two. So we have four. So we can get rid of the eight tile. The eight tile is no use to us. But our hand is slowly coming together. Uh, we have another two. Okay. Interesting. We don't want... I'm just thinking we don't want... That two is actually not useful to us, unfortunately. It could be, but it depends. Another two is not helpful. The three is the... Uh, door tile now. Again, it's asking me if I want to chi. I don't want to chi. Ah, oh, this is annoying. It's giving me really, really useless tiles. I will keep the 8. I'll play the 9. I'll keep the 8. For now. Hopes it's... Oh, God, not the west tile. Get rid of that. Useless. What do we have? Another chi. I don't want to chi that. Why does it keep giving me pairs? This is one of the this is one of the things I seem to get with a lot of Mahjong games. It seems to give me seven uh, um, was it S seven pairs the seven pairs hand, Chitotsu I think it's called in Japanese, and it's so annoying because I don't prepare for it. It, it keeps giving me pairs, pairs, and pairs, and I don't want pairs. I play that because I don't want pairs. To play your hand for Chitotsu is stupid. Just saying, it's stupid. So, okay, we finally have a tile that we can use. So now we can form five, six, seven. So we get rid of this two. Doesn't serve a purpose for us anymore. Great, yep, let's have the Cho. That's really helpful. Thanks for the Cho. And there you go. So he was waiting on the Cho. But I, there's nothing I could have done with it. There's just a completely useless tile in my hand. There you go. Fortunately. And that's just how it is sometimes. So again, North Tile, they're completely useless for me. Okay, he's going to pawn that. So I don't want to chi that, so... What do we have? We have a 1 and a 2. So I'm going to go along from the thing. We have a 1 and a 2. Two fives, a 9. Two three. Two sixes, an 8. Wow. Wow, really. Okay. Um... I am going to get rid of a six because we just drew a seven. That gives us five. At least that gives us. Normally you get at least one. Okay, that's not too bad. Normally you get with your starting hand at least one that matches up. You're very unlucky if you don't. So we got six, seven, eight there. We've just got another three, so we don't need this two. We we'll put the two in. Then we got three of a kind because that's another thing you can do. You can get three in a row, like a one, two, three, for example, or two, three, four, or three, four, five, or whatever. And you can do three of a kind, so three, three, three. Okay, that, that's completely useless to me, but I will do it like that. Sometimes that plays better. You then they ask to chi. I don't want to do that. We'll get rid of that tower. That's useless to me. Nope. Got a one. A one is useless to me. So the Dora tile is an is eight. Okay. And it gives me the green dragon, see? The arrow tile, as I call it. Um, yeah, see, it keeps doing this. This is the thing. You, you, you can try your best to prepare to the best of your ability with what you have. And sometimes it's just not interested. I'm going to get rid of the nine. The nine is just useless in my hand. You could have said I could have got rid of the nine earlier, but the tiles it was still giving me were useless, so... It's like here, it's like he's giving me a two, and I'm like, what do, we, what, do you, what, do you, what do you want me to do with that? What I'm going to do, I'm going to, because I see a three was already played, I am going to get rid of this. The hopes, I'm going to get rid of the two as well, in the hopes that we might get something we can do with. Okay, we get rid of the Cho.
A nine. Why give me the nine? Why would I want that? Jeez. And he's put a Ricci in. Fantastic. Okay, so let's see what we got. So we got four and two fives. We have two twos. We've just got an eight. So I'm thinking we could do two eights. Okay, I've got an idea. Hopefully it pays off. We will see. Oh, so he he self drew. There you go. Nothing I could. There was nothing anyone could have done about that. So, right. I think I'm going to stop here for Akagi because, like I said, we're going to be doing some more Akagi games anyway. So I'm sorry if my explanation of Mahjong isn't great. I'll try my best to uh, to go into it a bit more, maybe in the next Mahjong game. So. But we'll call it there. So that was Akagi Tohaiden. Perfectly fine. Mahjong game. Control's fine. The pace is nice. Reasonably quick. Some Mahjong games, the pace are really slow. Because I play quite a few of Mahjong games in my time now. Um, not, And that's not exactly on the channel, by the way. So, off the channel. Um, the biggest thing I could say about this game. The weird... Look at the fingers. Just look at them. The fingers are funny as hell. They're, they're just like... The fingers actually kind of remind me, especially with like nails and that, of like the GTA Vice City Definitive Edition with, with Tommy Facetti's big ass, you know, really, 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 really apparent, like nail, his fingernails being, whoa, there's, a, there's some fingernails right there, boy. <laughs> so, anyway, I've been Bayer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.